Starbucks cream root it, or syrup, whatever it's called. And yeah, getting I'm getting ready for clinicals this morning. Um, <laughs> yeah, another week, another like grinding week. So that's fun. <laughs> I'm tired. But like I'm okay. Um, it the sun has been like up so early now in the summer. I don't know the timing. It's like up when my alarm goes off at 6:15. It's like oh, the sun comes up at 6:32. Well, it is 6:40, and so it's really nice. It feels super nice to like wake up with the sun up, and you know not be super dark outside. So I've been enjoying that. But anyway, today is clinicals. Um, I will be skipping the gym today because I'm going to come home and study. So a lot of studying this weekend um, and I'm feeling pretty confident about my test but just have to lock everything in tonight and then we'll do the test tomorrow. And then clinicals Wednesday, Thursday, Friday again. So <laughs> yeah, it's like I said, it's a grinding week but it's okay. It's going to be fun. Hopefully we'll be able to fit some other fun stuff in. And yeah. Come on, you wanna go outside? You wanna go outside, Bob? Go buddy. Who do you want to go outside, honey? lunchtime guys I've been so excited to eat my lunch all morning I made like I mean, um, corn chips with so yesterday I made um, like a avocado corn guacamole um, and tomato salad type of thing with cilantro lime juice salt and pepper it was so good I got the recipe on Instagram but then I didn't have um, enough of those ingredients to make another one. I was out of avocado, so I made kind of a rendition of that, and it is, it's just canned corn. I, you're supposed to use fresh corn, but like, I'm lazy. So canned corn, black beans, um, some cherry tomatoes topped up, so chopped up cilantro, green peppers, lemon juice because I was out of lime, um, red onions, salt and pepper. It's like a bean salad, I guess you could call it, I think and it's so good and so like summery and fresh i really like it mm. oh my god i'm gonna make this for like the rest of the summer it's just so easy and i love chips so it's like really good to eat with chips and you feel kind of healthy because this is all healthy stuff and that's just like unhealthy stuff and you could get healthier chips if you wanted to so good good morning it's Tuesday. Um, I did a terrible job at like picking up the camera yesterday and it was really just because I was studying um, all evening. I like I had my clinicals as you guys know and then I went home and I studied for like three hours and took a walk and then I like ate dinner at like 9 9 30 watched like half an episode of Survivor and went to bed um, so I am sitting in the parking lot of the school right now because I have been late to class the last two times which are the only two classes we've ever had 
and so I left my house an hour and 15 minutes before I had to be here. It's 8.25, my class starts at nine, and I have plenty of time, but that's okay. Like I made it on time, that's all that matters, because um, I have a test today, so I'm a little bit nervous, but I don't have crazy test anxiety, which is really nice. I know a lot of people struggle with that, and that sucks. I do get like a little bit anxious but I'm able to like clear my brain I'm able to focus on the question which I know a lot of people like their test anxiety makes it so difficult for them to even focus on what the question is asking and I feel for you like that's so awful that sucks um, so I am happy about that um, but the plan today is gonna be like kind of a fun day I have this test and then I don't have to stay for class or anything we're not covering any new information um, so I'm gonna head to Trader Joe's I need to I meant to look up um, recipes last night because I wanted to make a list for Trader Joe's but um, I forgot to do it so I'll probably like do that after I'm done just really quickly and um, so Trader Joe's and then I'm gonna head to the gym and then we're actually gonna go to a friend's house and sit by the pool relax for the afternoon um, I have an assignment I have to work on but like I'll work on it by the pool um, it's not that big of a deal so I'm excited to do that I haven't been by the pool all summer so feels nice to have like a little bit of a break because the rest of the week is just go 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 again so yeah, I think I'm gonna get ready to head inside. I made a bagel this morning for breakfast and I ate half of it, but the other half is just not looking that appealing to me. So, I don't know, maybe I'll just leave it in here and then eat it afterwards. Is that nasty? Probably. Whatever. At my home away from home. driving home almost there and I wanted to just go over my test really quick I think it went really good um, there was a lot of developmental which I kind of expected and it wasn't just simply like what should this person or what should this what should a two month old do it was like a two month old or sorry no it was a question like a um, patient comes in they can um, they smile at you, they grasp objects, they can touch their feet, um, they can um, babble words. What age do you think they are? And I was like, whoa, girl, like this is like, we're throwing stuff in, this isn't easy. Um, but it was kind of, it was like, I knew it. I knew the developmental stages well enough to be able to decipher. So. You know like when you finish a test and you go over all the answers with your friends and you're like what did you get it seems like me and a few other people had very similar answers to questions so I feel very good about it I felt there's also two extra credit points that were worth two points each so which is so nice but they weren't like easy ones it was like um, doing like pediatric dosage calculations and um, calculating a baby's weight in ounces and seeing if they had lost 10% of that from the two weeks and which isn't hard but they weren't like throwaway questions is what I'm trying to say so I think it went really well I don't have my grade yet but I'm hoping to have it soon and it feels really good to get that out of the way and now we're going to go to the gym after I unload the groceries and we go to the pool I'm so excited I'm making a new recipe for lunch today it, if you guys can see that Ooh, from dr. vegan a chickpea wrap and it looks super good so we're gonna need Seth's outside playing with the dogs I'm gonna put some lettuce in the wrap and I'm gonna do onions and where are the tomatoes I literally I bought tomatoes did I like miss a bag? Oh, here they are. Got them. Onion. And did this have avocados on it? Yeah, I'll put a little bit of avocado, not much. Avocados are so expensive these days. I only bought three of them. Oh, and then it calls for like a 
a ranch dressing, um, but I'm gonna use this creamy dill. I've heard really good things about it from Trader Joe's, but I've never tried it myself. This one feels good. I need to put these in the fridge. And then we're gonna cut up this watermelon and um, go to the pool. This is the, it has chickpeas in it. Every recipe that I find has chickpeas in it. <laughs> Big chickpea people, I guess, but let's cut this stuff up. I don't know. I don't see it, I saw it the other day. Really? Never seen you be so obsessed about a salsa. It's tasty. <sighs> You're crazy. Don't look disturbed. <laughs> this is gonna be good. I'm feeling it. Stop it. Stop. <laughs> You're exaggerating. <laughs> 10 out of 10. 11 out of 11. <laughs> Back from the pool. It was such a good time. We just hung out with friends and we literally just chilled. It was so fun. Um, so just like good for the soul to be out in the sun with friends, just like really hanging out, not worrying about anything. I did get an assignment done while we were there, so that was super nice. And now I'm at home or making dinner and I feel very at peace. I feel like a weight has been lifted off my chest because I'm done with that test and oh, I didn't even tell you guys, I did really good on it um, very well. So I'm very happy with that. And yeah, I just feeling really good about being in peds and I feel like I really belong there. I feel really comfortable and confident in my practice, which is not something I've always felt in every rotation that I've done. And yeah, I just really like it. I'm feeling very peaceful. And that sounds weird, but like I'm just feeling like I'm meant to be there. And I don't know if I'll be able to get a job in it afterwards because I do have, I will have a family NP and not um, a pediatric NP, which I know a lot of them hire for it, but maybe I could do something like doing primary care for everybody like ages zero to death so and then maybe like work my way into peace a little bit later i don't know so we'll see where this whole thing takes me but i'm feeling really good all right let's make dinner yesterday because I didn't do anything like that yesterday so I just want to like sit here and wait. We are headed home. I'm getting out of clinicals a little bit early. I'm driving my husband's car today. Uh, <coughs> um, I'm not used to. He, he has like a little truck and I hate driving it. But anyway, um, we're getting home. We're getting to head home a bit early because they had a meeting at four, so I am headed home and I'm happy for that. I'm skipping out on the gym um, today because I'm not feeling amazing. Um, well, I'm actually, I'm feeling a lot better. 
Um, I'm just not like at my best and I want to let myself rest. Ah, you guys. Oh my God. Ah. <laughs> that was the biggest, it wasn't even a curb. This, um, okay, like this is tragic. <laughs> you can't even freaking see me. All right. <laughs> I can't. Alrighty, well. I'll see you guys when I get home. All right, you guys, I just got home and I'm trying to decide if I should make dinner right now. I'm not super hungry. I haven't had a crazy appetite. Um, but I was gonna take the, I was gonna do like a walk instead of going to the gym today because I just don't feel well enough to go to the gym. Um, but it's really, really hot outside. I think it's, it's definitely like 90 some degrees, but probably feels hotter. It is, oh, it's only 88 degrees, but it feels like 99. So yeah, I'm gonna wait until a little bit later in the day and then go, but I'm not really hungry for lunch right now. I don't really have anything I need to study right now. I do, like, I have some emails to get back to, just like brand emails and stuff. Sorry, camper is like, Honey, just lay down. It's like panting. <laughs> um, we were just playing with the ball outside. So anyway, I might sit down and look at those emails. Oh my God, you know what? I got a package. I'll show you guys what I got. So first sent me a package, which was so nice and the perfect timing because I've run out of my vitamin C serum and um, also my sunscreen. So I don't really know what's, I don't, actually, I don't know what's in here, but Maybe there's some vitamin C serum that I could use. Ooh. Oh shoot, I think it's all upside down. Whoops. Oh my God, this is so cute. <gasps> like a little headband to do your, that's so freaking cute. Soothing eye cream. Cool. What is this? Overnight facial peel. Cool. Dew point moisturizing gel cream. Very cool. Oh, a cleansing balm. I love cleansing balm so much. The one I'm using right now is really good too. Just Breathe Clarifying Serum. Willow Bark and Zinc Blend. Does it have vitamin C serum in it? It has niacinamide, so that's cool. Cool, I'm super excited to try all of this and thankful that Versed sent this to me. That's so cool. Hey guys, a little while later. Um, looks so bad, I apologize, but I wanted to try some of those burst things and put on this freaking headband. <laughs> oh my god, I look so silly. I thought it was gonna look cute. I look silly. Anyway, I just got out of the shower and I wanted to use um, some of this stuff. I'm gonna use this Dew Point Moisturizing Gel Cream, the eye cream. Oh, this clarifying serum. I should use this first. Um, I have used some of Burst products before and they're really good. I really liked them, but. <clears throat> The only, I'm not like stuck to any skincare products except for the um, First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. That stuff like changed my skin hydration wise. I swear I used to have dry skin and um, now I don't anymore. I just have like normal skin. Wait, how am I supposed to see is this? Press three drops into clean, almost dry skin. Let it sink in for two minutes. What the heck? AM and or PM after cleansing. I'm asking about before moisturizing. Okay. I think I said this has like nine cinnamon in it. I took my glasses off so I literally can't see anything that I'm doing. Fun fact about me is I literally have 2200 vision was the last time I got tested, which is, it's probably worse than that. It's just not like, once you're at there, there's no going back. And I was thinking like, maybe I should get LASIK surgery one day. Um, I still think I should, I'm just terrified of it. And I don't think it's covered by insurance. So I think it's like a couple thousand dollars out of pocket. And that's not the vibe right now. So gas is expensive. <laughs> oh, I don't know why I just put that back in. Cause I'm gonna use it. Okay, I know it hasn't been two or three minutes, but it feels quite dry. I like want to use this moisturizing gel cream, but I'm going to miss using my First Aid Beauty. Let's see. It's 
good consistency. My skin isn't super prone to breaking out like it used to be when I was younger. The only thing that breaks me out nowadays is myself. I like to pick at things. So I'll like, like here, I'll, I like made this into what it is now. Um, it's nice, very cooling because it's got this like aloe vera in it. That's really nice. I actually really like that. And then the last thing is this eye cream. Smoothing eye cream. It has pesticides in it. Peptides? Peptides, sorry. And always on the lookout. Crap. Ah! It's pink. That's fun. See? I wasted a little bit of it, unfortunately. It fell on my counter. But we're going to use this part. So I've been using the Clarins eye cream. It's for like under eye circles. And I actually really do like it. And I feel like my under eye circles do look better. But like I said, I'm always down to switch it up. And like try out products. So, ooh. I thought it tingled for a second, but no. <laughs> I'm just psycho. Maybe it does tingle a little bit. Like, just a little bit, though. Nice. I like that. I'm like, nice. I like everything. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. I'm aware that I look really bad. Oh, my God. Um... It's Friday, thank God. I have like a bug bite right on, I think I bit by a mosquito last night on my throat. And it just, and now it's leaving a mark. So that's cool. Um, I'm trying to decide if I should make coffee or not because you know how you just like don't feel like drinking coffee when you don't feel amazing, but I'm scared I'm gonna be too tired yesterday I didn't drink coffee and I'm an avid like every morning drop coffee drinker and so I'm like what if I crash you know but it's okay I can always like get a coffee at lunch or something I get my vitamins this is not vitamins <laughs> just some ibuprofen if I don't take it I'll get a headache so I'm gonna take an extra vitamin D supplement too. My multivitamins have vitamin D in them, but it's only like 2,000 units and this is 4,000. So about two or three times a week, I will add this in um, because most people in my experience who are on a multivitamin that has vitamin D in it are still low in vitamin D. So I'm just gonna supplement that. Vitamin D is really important for your immune function which obviously mine is struggling a little bit right now, so. Just got home to get all of my shits out of my car. Does anybody else just bring literally like their entire life with them whenever they go anywhere? Oh my God. Okay. An extra bag of chips down here. Would you look at that? That's all that's coming out. <laughs> I can't take any more. Boys are gonna be so excited. Hello. Oh, you man. What's wrong? Side on tacos for dinner. So this is just some impossible meat. And then um, taco shells. And then going really simple. This is just like a vegan nacho cheese, olives, lettuce, and some salsa. I am like obsessed with store-bought salsa. I don't know why it's like my favorite thing in the world. Got some Kardashians going, the boys are playing, and it's a great Friday night over here. Um, I have been asked to do a little hair care routine, so it's nothing crazy. I am a very simple person. 
Um, I do feel like my hair is decently healthy and I really think there are two reasons for that. One, I only wash it twice a week. I really feel like that helps. And then two, I really don't apply heat to my hair. Um, maybe once every two weeks I will um, curl my hair, but that's the extent, especially in the summer because it's so humid in Florida. Like my, if I curl it, it's gonna be pretty flat like by the end of the night. So anyway, I think those are my two biggest tips, which I feel like everybody knows, but I also saw this, I'm not a hair care expert, so take everything I say with a grain of salt. This is just from my own personal experience. But I saw a girl on TikTok talk about um, washing your hair twice and my hairdresser does that. And I've like noticed a difference in my hair um, getting cleaner when I wash it twice. So the first time around, I just use a little bit of shampoo and like go through the roots and just kind of coat it a little bit. I don't like get it all sudsy and stuff and then wash it out and then I do a really nice clean, or sorry, a really nice big um, wash after that. And I only wash, I only put shampoo on my scalp. I don't put shampoo on my roots because I've heard that that is drying. I use conditioner on my roots from like here down. I don't use conditioner on the top part of my hair. And I'll show you what shampoo and conditioner I use. They're really nothing crazy. You probably should use like better ones than this, but like I don't want to spend a bunch of money on shampoo and conditioner. So this is the shampoo that I use. Can you see it? Yeah, it smells really good. It's OGX, the Argon Oil of Morocco shampoo. And then I use the John Frieda Violet Crush because my hair is dyed blonde. I'm not a real blonde girl. And I um, use purple shampoo every time I wash my hair, which is twice a week. I know you're probably only supposed to use it once, but um, anyway, so I do that twice a week. I use a wet brush whenever I brush my hair. This is game changing. I used to not brush my hair and I would wake up with, not knotty, but it was very unkept because it hurt to brush my hair. So if you use a wet brush, you should use a wet brush. And then probably about every other day, I use this old Lex bonding oil on my roots just as I'm like getting towards my wash day the ends of my hair can get kind of dry so I put that on the ends of my hair and I use this like Batiste <laughs> dry shampoo throughout the week to keep my hair looking decently fresh on like the last day before I wash it I'm like I don't care if it looks oily I just like put it back I'm like oily's in style now like the slick back hair is in style so that's it that's all i do it's really nothing crazy i think the biggest thing that helps me is not putting heat on it and washing it only a couple of days a week um but i feel like you guys know that that's very everybody says that for you. good morning may i please have a grande ice shaken espresso with oat milk uh, anything else um, oh, the brown sugar one. Sorry. Brown sugar? Uh, yeah. Sorry about that. No, you're fine. Can I have one less pump than it usually comes with? One less pump? Yes, please. Sorry. It was, it was um, oat milk, right? Yes. Or um, oat milk? Yes. Yeah. Anything else for you? Nope, that's it. Right, that'll be 618 once you at the window. Thank you. Okay. I hope this is good. It's not looking... I like it when they make it and like all of the espressos at the bottom and the oat milk is like pouring down into it. This looks very shaken up, so I mean it could still be good. Mm. Pretty good. Worth six dollars? I don't know, but little Saturday treat. Um so this morning I worked at the IV bar. And it's now 11 o'clock and I'm going home, which I'm very excited about because I'm just really tired. <laughs> I think I might take a nap. Well, I was gonna, kind of thinking I should go to the gym today because I missed so many days this week um, just because I wasn't feeling good. And I could totally not go today and I'd still be fine. I'm, you know, obviously it's not that big of a deal if I don't go, but I just, I feel better when I exercise and I don't want to be like a lazy couch potato all day so 
we'll see. My gym's open till five though, so that's the problem. So I feel like I have such limited time to go. Like I could go this evening, but I can't, so. Kinda sucks because um, we're gonna go to the beach today, but it's raining in Tampa. And so we were gonna go tomorrow, but I have a massage book tomorrow, which I'm not canceling that because <laughs> I need it. And it was like a little graduation gift from my husband. And so I'm gonna do it, but then I can't go to the beach and I have homework I need to do anyway, so it's not that big of a deal, but would have loved to go today. Anyway, cheers you guys. I'm actually gonna end this vlog because it's Saturday and I don't ever vlog into the weekend, really, only Saturday morning. So in this vlog thank you guys for watching i will see you all next week um next week's a little bit of a shorter week i have clinicals three days class but on friday i'm headed out of town so that's super exciting maybe i'll take you guys along maybe not i don't know so we'll see cheers thank you guys so much for watching